Encryption. It's the digital equivalent of locking your front door. And in today's world, everyone is trying to kick it down. Governments around the world are launching coordinated attacks on encrypted services, painting them as tools for criminals. But here's the truth. Encryption isn't about hiding shady activity. It's about owning your data, protecting your identity, and controlling who sees what. So today, I'm going to walk you through five essential encrypted services, tools that are private, secure, and user-friendly enough that even your non-techie friends could use them. Let's start with the most important one. Your entire digital life begins with passwords. But here's the thing. If you're reusing the same weak password across accounts, you're just one data breach away from a nightmare. The solution? A secure encrypted password manager. I recommend ProtonPass. It's open source, encrypted, and easy to use. It even comes with built-in email alias integration. For more hardcore setups, KeePass gives you full control, but it's offline and a bit do-it-yourself. Bitwarden is another favorite, also open source and great for teams. Whatever you choose, just make sure you're using two-factor authentication and not relying on memory or a browser's autofill. This is going to be your first line of defense. Ever wonder who's reading your messages? With most apps, it's hard to know for sure. If you want secure communications, Signal is where to start. Now you might say, what about WhatsApp? I have a video you can check out on that if you haven't already seen it. But with Signal, it's free, it's end-to-end -end encryption, and so simple that even your group chat with your family could move over today if you wanted to. If you need something more advanced or anonymous, try Session or Simple X. Of course, if you want to go off the grid entirely, there's Briar, which doesn't even need the internet. It can use Bluetooth or Wi-Fi Direct. And if you don't mind paying a few bucks, Threema is a rock-solid Swiss-based option. The key takeaway, ditch WhatsApp. Your privacy is worth more than free stickers. Email is tough. It was never built for privacy, but there are providers trying to fix that. My top pick is ProtonMail. It's secure, user-friendly, and integrates well with Proton's other tools. If you want something even more hardcore, check out Tuda. It's fully open source and with better encryption in some areas, though the UI isn't quite as polished. Startmail is another solid option with great usability, but it's not open source and has no free plan. So no matter which one of these email solutions you go with, it's going to be a big upgrade from Big Tech's inbox, where your data is getting scanned, tracked, and then monetized. Let's be clear, a VPN is not a magic privacy button but it does mask your IP address and break one of the most common tracking patterns online. Two VPNs stand out, MoolVOD and iVPN. Both are open source, log free, and don't even require an email to sign up. They accept anonymous payments like Monero and have no affiliate programs, just real independent credibility. If you're already using ProtonMail or Pass, ProtonVPN might also make sense for you. And if you're looking for something more beginner friendly, Winscribe strikes a nice balance between usability and privacy. Just don't stop at a VPN. Make it part of your larger privacy toolkit. You store everything in the cloud, documents, tax forms, photos, but with services like Google Drive, they hold the keys to your data. That's not privacy. For full control, try Nextcloud, a self-hosted suite that mimics Google Workspace, but with real end-to-end -end encryption. Now, if you're not a do-it-yourself type, use Proton Drive instead. It's open source, supports file sharing, and they continuously make it better as time goes on. There's also Phylon. It's another great pick, simple, private, and encrypted from end-to-end. -end. And while Mega, had a rocky past, it now uses some advanced techniques to keep your data safe. And the UI is also improved and sleek. So again, when your memories and work documents live online, don't leave them unguarded. Consider using one of those services. Encryption shouldn't be seen as a luxury. It should be seen as a basic digital right. 
And using these tools isn't just about privacy. It's about freedom and ownership in a world where surveillance is becoming the norm. So start small. Pick one of the tools from the list and build your privacy foundation. Because at the end of the day, if your data isn't encrypted, it's not really yours. So if you found this helpful, I hope you'll share it with somebody that you care about. And remember, privacy isn't paranoia, it's protection.